Hi everyone, this is Nuresh Mirani from NureshTech.co.in Starting with the YouTube series on technical analysis and observations. So what we'll be looking in the coming video are uh, three points we'll be focusing on. First, trying to see the correlation between Dow Jones Industrial Average and the Nifty and how the peaks and swings tend to be similar. Second, we look at a little older examples as to how this comparison helped us time the markets really well in terms of uh, major trends and demonetization and in February 2016. And finally, a quick view on the current Nifty and uh, the comparison with the Dow Jones Industrial Average to give us a good, uh, say, things to note out for for the next few days and few weeks as to how it could continue and how confirmations could come from either of the indices. So let us try to see it on the software itself. And the Nifty 50. Uh, before I make a conclusion on this, let us try to see what am I talking about, where we try to see the correlation in terms of the swings between the Dow Jones as well as the Nifty. So let me do is, uh, let me plot the, we'll start from the bottoms made in March. So I take a vertical line, make it uh, say a little, say a style where it becomes, uh, so you can see both the peaks and bottoms. So then what do we notice is uh, we made a bottom and this was, uh, this coincided with the lockdown as well as the same bottom was made in US markets around the same date. Then we see the next peak, extreme short term peaks. Uh, I'll try to put it on the nifty because uh, we tend to trade first. So then we notice just a day after US markets, we also made a short term peak. So it will just generally be a few days apart most of the times. Again, the dip, we made the same swing, four day swing, similar to US markets. Then this major peak, if you notice on the nifty, a day before US peaked out. So if I were to look at this, this is 30th April and this is 30th April. So in terms of the day, it is almost the same. It's just that we are having different trading hours. So a day apart, you should consider the same. Now look at this one. This is where we peaked out. So we peak out on uh, 8th June and Dow Jones also peaks out a day later. So almost if you were to look at this uh, moves with uh, say an SGX Nifty, which trades 24 hours and Dow futures, you would almost see the swings to be very similar in terms of uh, many a times. So this is the next dip. This is the last peak out here. And this is the time where we started seeing more momentum on Nifty compared to the US market. So they were sideways, but we continued. But the last recent dip out here is again exactly the same just a day before or almost on the same day, US markets also started reversing. So what it tells you is uh, most of the times the direction is given by US markets, what we've noticed is, and also to note the magnitude was higher in US markets, we caught up a bit later. So what I try to do is uh, always look at US markets for say direction, and then confirmation in Indian markets and vice versa keep rolling. But most of the times we found US markets to be a very strong indication of the trend. So in the same ways, if I were to look at the current markets, what I'll do is, I would like a breakdown happening, say for example, this is the trend line which all of us have been watching in terms of the momentum on the Nifty. I would like this breakdown to also be confirmed by a breakdown in US markets. So maybe tweaking a bit of the trend lines and more importantly, we would look at price action. So what is differing in the near last three, four days is We've given a candlestick reversal after making three dojis and very small moves. And yesterday we got a good red candle, but we've not seen the same action happening in US markets. So maybe this low at 27,600 or maybe a day before at 27,400. That is the point of time. Say going forward for the next week, 
the trend line comes to around 27,000, 27,400. But at least for the last four sessions, 27,400 to 27,600 is a band on the US markets. A similar band for the last few days for us is 11,100. There were a few bottoms here. So, and in the last few, this also, this was apart from this dip, there were a lot of made, bottoms made around 11,100 to 11,200. So that is the band we'll watch out for because that is where the trend line would be by next week. So if we go break that, you would want a confirmation at least on price action from US markets. If that does not happen, what do we say is stock specific action will continue. So currently the view is as of now, stock specific action could continue. The last swing low for the Nifty is at 10,880 and that is where we say once we break that, maybe that's the first indication of a first swing low being broken. And although it's a very small swing low of just a four or five days session, but as of now, there is uh, nothing strong across the world to say, give you an indication. Similarly, we've noticed uh, previously a lot of trends were first started in US markets and then we followed. So the last two times it helped us really time the markets very, very well was in uh, post demonetization and in February 2016. So let me show it to you and it will be very interesting to see. So this is the day where we had our demonetization and the Trump event coincide. US markets broke out, but we were uh, still uh, uh, digesting the effects of demonetization. And for the next one and a half months, we made another new low, which was just marginally lower. So it was a classical positive divergence on RSI and became a double bottom. And this is when it reversed. And by the time it reversed, what do we notice is US markets had already trended up in this period and post this move in 2017, it was a classical trend across the world. And as you see, the momentum caught up when US markets broke out this previous high. So this is the point of time since then, since January 2017, it was the cleanest move across the world. None of the global markets fell more than six to 10% from top to bottom in any swing. Same way, it helped us uh, uh, in 2016. So this is the first bottom on US and Nifty, almost the same. The second bottom, almost the same, just a day apart. And we were waiting for our budget on 29th February 2016. By the time we were on our budget day, US markets had clearly reversed. When I say clearly reversed, the intermediate highs were taken out. So it was a clear double bottom reversal out here, but we are yet to do so. So this gives us an added advantage. If we look at say, if the trend has already started in say US, we should uh, maybe watch out for the trend to be confirmed in our markets also to confirm that, okay, the trend has started in Indian markets also. So this is the time I actually came out with a video called Big Borrow, Steal and Invest. This was uh, right out here. I think it was done on 14th February in Delhi. I think the uh, video was released a few weeks after that on uh, because when I received the recording. So you can go through it on the YouTube channel. So this is how interesting it helps us in terms of timing. So let us consider a recent breakout which happened on the Nifty. Which is where we started picking up it up of momentum. So we were lagging behind. So this is where the breakout happened. And what do we notice? This is the day we clearly break out about this. By that time, US had also broken out. So that is where the trend became really strong and it was a clean move and we caught up really well. So till this point, we were lacking behind in terms of the momentum and then we caught up really well. So this is where it became a turning point for us. So in the same way, what we'll do is uh, if at all, whenever the Dow Jones turns track and we also do that will give us the next indication. So to sum it up, uh, try comparing uh, various markets. We found Dow S&P 500 to be leader for the whole world. So we compare that in the same way in India, we compare Nifty, Bank Nifty and small cap indices. This is uh, what we look out for and hope to see uh, any views you all have on the same and we'll keep sharing such uh, 
say observations which we see on technical analysis. Uh, thanks a lot. Do follow us on YouTube as well as on our. Uh, you can follow us through WhatsApp or email through our website. Thanks a lot.